Yo, hey everybody. Uh, so today we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you a few little tips and things that I do to set up a tubeless tire. So this this particular wheel it had an inner tube regular tire and it had a tubeless ready tire. Uh, but first few things uh, as far as the valve stems that you're gonna use probably. I don't know, somewhere around 90% of the time I'll just use these little stands, valves, it's kind of got a little rubber cone shape. Uh, I kind of suspected on this rim, because it had the, it's kind of got a U groove shape there, I might have to use this other valve, but the most important thing is to have all tubeless ready components. The tire was tubeless, you know, it's a tubeless ready tire, and then you can normally tell on the rim, because you'll have that little shoulder lip there on the side, so you always want to either state on the rim that it's tubeless ready or you notice that it's got that little shoulder there so that's kind of the telltale way you can see where it really locks that tire bead in uh, so another tip uh, tape wise one of the biggest mistakes I see people make, people make is using the wrong type tape or not using tubeless tape or the wrong width I usually I'll just hold up the tape and I don't know, usually if it's about the overall width of the, the rim, outside edge to outside edge, that's usually a pretty good, uh, I don't know, pretty good uh, way to determine the uh, an appropriate width. Um, you know, here I'm just cleaning the, you know, even though it was, I pulled the rim strip off and it's pretty clean, you want to wipe that down with some isopropyl alcohol just to make sure you'll get good stiction with your tape. Or if you're replacing old tape, you know, make sure you really clean this up, that yeah, uh, cause the tubeless tape it has to really be able to stick in order to get a good seal. Um, so yeah, and in this case I'm using um, this is stands tape. Um, you know, I I don't know. In my opinion, I feel like uh, an actual tape that's branded as tubeless tape works the best. Um, probably my favorite is the whiskey tape, but. Um, I don't know, that's one thing with this whole pandemic thing is I've noticed it has been hard to, to find uh, tape, tubeless tape, especially some of the wider widths there. So uh, this one was a pretty good width. You know, it's even though that when I was holding up the roll to the rim there, it looked like it was slightly wider, you know, as it fits down into the groove and hits all the contours kind of what you want to shoot for is to have it be able to go all the way span from side to side where the bead of the tire is actually sitting on top of the tape if you just have the you know I've heard people say just cover the holes and that's good enough and usually it'll that uh, the sealant will want to migrate under the tape and into into the rim so uh, I've just overlapped it here about I don't know six to ten inches somewhere in there uh, you know, as you can see, it's uh, nice and got full coverage along the bed of the rim there. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what you want to shoot for. You know, make sure it's stuck down really well on the on those shoulder parts where the bead is gonna sit. Um, you know, I'm trying to locate my little valve hole, and I just take a little, you know, pick, a little awl, something sharp, and just poke a hole through it. I mean, some guys just poke the valve straight through, but you just want to be super careful there not to tear it. You can see I've added, I've got a little bit of film of sealant around the, the sides of the valve and on the rubber part. I kind of feel like that, I don't know, kind of helps it go in just a little easier and it uh, maybe gives it a little pre-seal, pre, pre -seal, I don't know. I, that's kind of what I usually do and it seems to work. But push really hard on the back side of the valve as you're turning that nut and that'll really get it seated in there. Uh, so. I've got basically here I've got one side of the tire worked on and then this is the only last little gap uh, kind of had my tip clogged up a little bit there so I sprayed a little sealant Whoa, everywhere you, but, uh, you know and d depending on how well that tire fits if it's a uh, you know if you feel like it's going to be a really tight fit I'll usually just do this method because it's really quick if you're kind of unsure of the tire and rim combo I'd get the tire on there and inflate it make sure it locks into place and then you can just pull that valve core out and squirt the sealant right into the valve core which is definitely more of a safe bet uh, the way I just demonstrated it here is more the fast production method uh, so yeah I don't know it's kind of just making this video on the fly busy day at work and everything so 
that's how I usually do it, just as a quick way. If I have a known, you know, usually if it's stuff I'm dealing with, I'll just do it that way. And if I have a known tire and rim combination that work well together. Anyway, I ended up, yeah, it was leaking from the stanch valve, so I had to use, go with that other kind of U-shaped valve. And once we got this on here, it, it uh, sealed up real nice. It was leaking from the valve there, so... You know, like I say, sometimes on those really U-shaped grooves, you have to use the specific valve. Sometimes the valve will come with the with the wheel set or whatever the rim. But I don't know. Either which way, this I just kind of made this part off camera because I ran out of time at work. But once you get it on there, I usually just you know bounce the wheel around a little bit, make sure to get that sealant sloshed around in there. Uh, a lot of the tires, even though they're tubeless ready, it really has you have to coat the sides of the tires because they are somewhat porous and then you know any of the little small imperfections or gaps areas around the valve stem you know just make sure you get that all covered and inflate it maybe a little higher than normal and uh yeah check back with it later make sure it's holding there you can spray soapy water on it make sure there's no bubbles but yeah that's basically my tips hopefully you found it helpful and uh be sure and subscribe subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber and we'll see you guys next time